We're on a mission to build the best and most thoughtful camper van in the world. And one of the most incredible aspects of this van are the roof windows. However, these can be problematic in the winters, in hot summers, and whenever we wanna do stealth camping. We have four total roof windows, two are vents for air circulation, and the other two are panorama windows. We wanted these massive panorama windows because they are a huge source of natural light in a tiny space. Unfortunately, they can also be a huge insulation breach. We could lose all of our hot air during the winters or in the heat of the summer, these things could cook us alive. When we're stealth camping, these would give our location away at nighttime because of light leaks. That means we need something that will prevent all of this from happening and it's absolutely epic. Here is my battlefield. I have all these panels that I took off when I bought our van as a delivery DPD vehicle. All of these I stripped off and some of them I actually even labeled to make my life easier later on. But now I'm actually bringing you to the meat of this video, which is this panel. <laughs> this one plus the vent. Both of these vents are big, big thermal leak and I'm gonna be covering them right away. So we're gonna have two panels for each row. Here Lottie is laying the vapor barrier over the wooden frames of our four roof windows. The first roof windows that need the attention are the two vents. These need some customizations to make sure when the frames are exposed from the interior, they're looking good. And now we're getting to the customization face. And I think spray paint as well, because who wants to be looking at the white frames? Not me. These scrapers, that's my favorite tool. It's essentially just a flat sheet of metal with just squared off edges. I'm using plastic primer because I like using plastic primers on the plastic. And a black primer will help me to convert white into matte black. Most people would never do any sort of curtain or cover that goes over the vent roof window. And we've decided to do it not only because of the insulation benefits, but mostly because of the sound you get when you're driving. Even when your vent windows are closed, it can sometimes sound like in the back of the van because you can hear the air hitting that roof vent. If we're able to close off this curtain, that sound is immediately deadened. Okay, these cured beautifully overnight. I'm happy I was able to do primer, <laughs> then filler, and then a pain at the same time because I have the <laughs> I have the most amazing heater. Yeah, this is going to be amazing. So much better in black. Okay, that should be sorted. But uh, how about my custom-made windows? These didn't come with frames. That will require some. Improvisation! <laughs> That is exactly my specialty. This is what I bought originally, intending to use it for framing, just cut it on a miter saw and make a nice frame from below. But this doesn't seem to be long enough and I think this should be a little bit longer too. So I actually had to go to my stock scrape center 
and find this old plumbing <laughs> for air distribution that I don't even know how it ended up here. So I'm gonna modify it a little bit, fit it in, and then at the end spray paint it just like I did with the original frame. The next phase is pretty simple. I need to miter all of these around, create a framing around the window, make sure everything fits before I drill the holes for attachment and spray paint them all. again of course that's pretty awesome one done seven to go so far pretty good but now we're getting to the tricky part welcome to the world of living so this is my problem Disney this whole thing needs to be scraped it's not even even mm. Mm. okay we have some pretty amazing news. We have launched a van design course and it is now available for you. This course was not only created to teach you how to design small spaces, but also to show the critical thought process that's required for layouts and for innovation. With the teaching from this course in hand, you'll be confident in approaching design for all sorts of spaces. We of course go through common design mistakes and then we break down all of the aspects of a kitchen, a bedroom, a bathroom, office layouts, storage space, garages, all of the reasoning that you need to optimize your tiny home. Best of all, this course is not static. When you join this course, you also have access to a community forum. And this is somewhere that you can ask questions, provide info, photos of your most recent innovations, and we can have an ongoing conversation about van design. So if you feel there's something not covered enough in the course, that means that you can message me and I can quickly film an additional chapter. This is real-time info, and everyone who purchases the van design course gets access to every single update. Head down to the description of this video to learn more about the van design course, our van bundle that we're now offering, or any other questions about the products we provide. Okay, enough. It should be this. These miters will definitely need some tweaking, but for this raw first fit, everything seems to be pretty neat. This technique with just a hot glue gun is actually pretty interesting. And if you don't trust it, if you don't believe this might be strong enough, then you're mistaken. Because I already did my testing. I took this specific plastic, sanded it down with 40, really rough, then glued it, cured it properly, and then I was hammering the joint like crazy. 
to break it apart. I've done this a while ago for a completely different purpose and this time I knew what I can do. Nice. Line is always the beginning. If I can draw it, I can make it. If you've been enjoying this video so far or you enjoy any other videos on our channel, please don't forget to subscribe. I know it's a small action and it gets a little bit annoying for everybody to always ask for you to subscribe to the channel, but the truth is it does make a really big difference for us in the long run. We hope you continue to join us as we make progress on this build. is the only trick because this is accumulated cold material it doesn't stick to the hot glue gun as well if I took a heater and heated it up locally that would stick really well but I'm purposely using the temperature difference to just smash it down like an old-school stamp and make it nice and flat in the corners and look at that I can easily work with this and move on to the other stage. Continuity. Continuity. Is this going to fit? Oh. <sighs> nice. Nice, 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 nice. I don't believe the hot glue gun would hold it only, especially when it's gonna be between insulation and a, and a triple glazed window on a roof in a hot sunny day. So that's why I think there is a potential of using such a welder. I've never done it before, I only bought it when I saw an ad, <laughs> to be honest. And I think this might be pretty good for this purpose. I'm gonna weld it into the plastic. That will definitely secure it a little bit, a little bit more. Okay, I love this face. This is hyper easy peasy because I'm gonna just make it symmetrical because these screws will be visible so I can get to the glass, replace it if I need to. And now I have the same measurement from all the angles to make it look really nice and really neat. Okay, and now I only need to drill this all these holes. Do you want to see how quickly I can make it? Okay, start the timer. Three. Two, one. Whew. That was easy. What was the time? The reason that these frames need to actually be filed down at somewhat of an angle is because the panorama glass windows were installed at an angle. And there's a lot of reasoning behind some of this, so I want to explain it. You'll notice that this here is actually slanted. So both of these glass roof windows are slanted. And the reason why is for when it rains, this will glide all the way down and won't sit there on the roof and seep into all of these edges. Instead, it will go right off of the side of the van. 
Inside this angle is there as well, so that's why this needs to be perfectly fitted so you can see no gaps along the framing. Dry fit. I like dry fits. I always do dry fits. I'm a dry fit guy. If I spray paint and I didn't dry fit, that means something's not gonna sit well and then I scratch the paint. I always dry fit. Dry fit and make sure. But I dry fit most dry fit. Dry fit, dry fit as well. Dry fit, no need to dry fit. Dry fit just in case. By dry fitting. That's gonna be beautiful. That's exactly where my panels actually come into place. I have all these panels that I took off when I bought our van as a delivery vehicle. And this is an amazing lightweight plastic material that is thin and hard enough to create my cool window panels. And I'll definitely be gluing six mil Sika flex from the back to have extra reflective radiant heat separation insulation. We're using the same 6 mil K-Flex that we used inside of the van to line these curtains. And the cool thing about this is then when the shades are closed, such as during the summer, that reflective side of the curtains will bounce the radiant heat out of the van so we can have more control of the temperature inside. Simultaneously, we've chosen to have a black fabric exposed inside so we get that blackout effect at nighttime. Before I went to bed, I 3D printed a few of these brackets that I quickly modeled in my SketchUp software. I practiced a little bit with the rail system, so that's gonna be hanging the panel on this part attached to the van and essentially sliding in and out. Just a small little sample, see how my tolerances are. And then I have a piece that's gonna be screwed to the van and it also has a slot for a magnet and have magnets on the opposite side in a closed and open position. You've seen us do something similar before when it came to the seat bases. This is the small door that we have for Millie for one of her hiding spots in the van and it clicks on magnets. The sliders were also 3D printed. So this is a similar concept that will be applied to the curtains as well. One of these has a handle that's gonna go straight to the panel itself. This is my sample. That needs holes for screws so I can screw it through the panel this mechanically stressed part will be properly attached. And to cover it all up, not to see raw edges, I also purchased this plastic trimming, unfortunately white <laughs> profile. These are 20 millimeters by five millimeters neodymium magnets. I link them in a parts list obviously as well. And they're supposed to fit right here in these cutouts. So I'm gonna mammoth glue one here to the handle and the other piece that's gonna be screwed to the van itself. With the handle, sliding, blocking the finished position, and obviously held down with a magnet. So here's what we have, the handle, 
that goes to the interior side and hopefully should snap in nice okay and then I need to drill two holes to attach it mechanically so it's one stiff piece and then I have only magnet holders I'm sure it seems like this is a complete overkill project, but the fact of the matter is when you have this many windows in a van, it is important to cover them for insulation, for the wind sound, but also the less talked about light leaks. Light leaks are a huge giveaway when you're trying to do stealth camping. In the evening times, you can cover your windshield, you can cover all of the windows on the side of your van, but people less often cover their roof windows. So those will be glowing even if all of the main windows are covered. Us being able to cover all of this means that we can have the van completely pitch black if we so choose in the middle of the daytime. It also means if we're parking somewhere where maybe we're not supposed to or we don't know we're not supposed to or where we don't want anyone to know that we're actually parking, nobody will be able to see us after dawn. The color of our van helps with this and the fact that it will look like absolutely nobody could be in there. Oh, well, let's finish it off. I'm very pleased with how this turned out. This gray is just, just this quick job of spraying over this one single strip made it so much more interesting. This is, this is a beautiful, beautiful art from all completely recycled material and 3D printing. <laughs> One point two kilos. That's the heaviest. One point one kilo. Zero point six. Zero point five. That's pretty good. This is a really lightweight, stiff panel that's gonna black Whoa. out completely inside of the van. In the next phase, when I'm making the ceiling. I'm gonna make the rails and a system and magnets clicking to it and locking it exactly in place. So even when driving, these will be really quiet and really insulated. 